Hi, today is February 18th and I'm going to make a stir fry, a chicken stir fry actually. I've started um, getting everything all prepared and uh, so that way this video wasn't too long because I keep going over my time limit of 15 minutes. So I've got carrots, celery, I had some uh, apples that were kind of going bad so I, I cut up the apples. I've got an onion, a purple onion that I, I grow myself. I grow all the different kinds of uh, colors and I, and I like the purple in the stir fry because you can see it. As well as four or five heads of garlic. I love my garlic. And it is really good for you, for your health, uh, regarding uh, staying healthy in this crazy time. So I'm just going to finish cutting the, the uh, onion and uh, shove it into here. I was in Killarney today, went for a ride, uh, did a little bit of grocery shopping. It actually warmed up to minus nine today. Uh, first time I got my old truck moving. <laughs> it's been sitting for about 10 days with all this crazy weather. So I thought, okay, I plug it in and uh, let it sit, warm up, and sure enough, it started. I was happy, happy to take a run. Uh, after Killarney uh, getting the groceries, I went to the, to the post office and picked up my mail that I haven't looked at for a week and a half. Just a lot of flyers and bills. <laughs> Nothing important, <laughs> but isn't that the way? Okay, so this is uh, apples, and, and, and if you see, I really don't have to make tiny little, um, little cuts because it does, and I leave the skins on it, because it does um, uh, get all mixed up in the stir fry, uh, and the apple gives a little sweetness um, as well. So the garlic, I, I cut up just the same as I would cut up the anything else into I try to make it smaller chunks though because garlic is pretty potent but garlic uh, certainly does keep um, all the bad things away meaning the flu and colds and sniffles and whatever else happens to uh, try to get into our body sideways I'm pretty healthy I uh, I've stayed healthy I I take my supplements one day I'll talk about supplements because it is important. It helps me uh, in my, my knees not to have any pain. Uh, I remember uh, talking to a doctor one time. Uh, he asked me, <clears throat> so what do you take for your pain in your knees? Because I don't have any um, any cartas left in my knee between my bones. And uh, so it would be very painful. And he says, so what are you taking? I said, well, I'm just taking supplements. <laughs> I said, I don't take anything for pain. And so he stopped dead. He didn't want to say to that. He didn't ask me what kind of supplements I took either. So, But I've taken supplements for many years just to, to kind of, I knew this was coming. My mom was in a wheelchair for 25 years of her life with bad knees, and that seems to be a family trait. So I wanted to, to be ready. So I've been taking supplements and keeping uh, my joints lubricated and uh, uh, I always take fish oil, it doesn't matter what kind of fish oil, you choose what you want. Um, and I take, uh, I guess I am telling you what my supplements are. And and this is just for me, this is not for you. You decide for yourself what you want to do uh, for your own health. Because I'm not a doctor. I don't purport to be any, any, any kind of smart person in medical ways. I just know my own body and I know what works for me. So we all have to kind of figure that out uh, on ourselves, what works for, for us. So Karis, I... I like carrots. My grandson likes carrots too, so I usually tend to put a lot of carrots in the stir fry. Uh, and uh, you decide what you want to put in your stir fry. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Uh, whatever vegetables you have. And usually, it doesn't particularly have to be fresh vegetables. I have beans in the freezer and I have frozen tomatoes, so I'm going to throw a couple of frozen tomatoes in and a couple of beans. And, and I also um, grow um, uh, peas, like the snow peas, so it's in a pod. So I usually throw, you know, half a handful of snow peas in there, too. I just open up the bag. I don't, because I, I do try to freeze a full bag, but I don't use a full bag. I just use what I need. Uh, I've been buying carrots on sale. So uh, when I, and I did promise I would do a, um, a dehydration uh, uh, session, and I will do that, uh, especially after maybe in the next few days. 
I, I keep saying I'm doing so many things and uh, so many things pop into my head of other ideas that uh, I can't keep up with my thoughts, so I've got to stop telling people what I'm doing. <laughs> my, one of my uh, daughters said to me today, so uh, what are you doing your dehydration thing? Because it was supposed to be tomorrow, and oh gosh. <laughs> I know I said that. <laughs> so I will. I try to keep to my word, or don't give my word. <laughs> But it's easy to change things around when uh, when life keeps you keeps you busy. Nothing wrong with life keeping you busy. It keeps you out of trouble. You want to stop it now, Alex? I'm going to cut up the chicken. Um, I have here uh, the broth from yesterday. I cook my chickens, and this is my own chicken, uh, by the way, uh, and it tastes like chicken. I'm sure most of you don't even know what real chicken tastes like. Uh, if you had farm chicken, you realize, my gosh, it's a hundred times more flavorful than store-bought uh, because it's free-ranged and um, running around. It's not locked up into little pens. Uh, so my my uh, eggs as well are free-range eggs. Now, of course, they're not running around <laughs> in the snow, but I do feed them um, uh, food scraps, you know, from the kitchen, like all the scraps from... Uh, Cutting the vegetables will go out to them. They just love that stuff. So this is the chicken I just chopped up. That's not going in, first of all, of course. We're going to start this, the, the vegetables um, to saute them and, and start softening them up. But I I use, like I started to say, I, I cooked my chicken in a, in a slow cooker. So I have all of this broth. So if you don't have broth, you can just either use water or buy broth. It's up to you what you want to do and we're going to go to soap shortly but this broth and vegetables mixed together starts our stir fry okay so i'm going to move now to the to the stove i just put it on high and by the way i have this is a cast iron wok uh, I bought it from Cabela's, as a matter of fact. I, bought, I buy a lot of my cast iron stuff from Cabela's. And that was years ago, so I haven't a clue what it would cost now. I think I spent maybe $30 on it. So if you see, uh, there's a lot of broth in there. Uh, and that's what I just throw through some uh, frozen tomatoes in as well. So if you feel you need more broth to cover more area, you just add more broth. Or water if you don't have broth. So now I'm going to start adding all the herbs and and everything else that I put in. This is a, a combination, I make it myself, of uh, turmeric, cuminum, and fenugreek. I just buy the three ingredients and then I make a combination. So I'm going to put about a good tablespoon, maybe maybe a little more, two tablespoons. Now turmeric uh, is, is excellent for, uh, for uh, pains arthritic pain or um, joint pain. This is called uh, Chinese Five uh, Spices. You you decide what you want, what your flavor, you want your flavor. You don't have to follow my recipe. You can decide for yourself. This is poultry seasoning. Because you have uh, chicken, you certainly want some poultry seasoning in there. I um, usually like to put my own sage, but I ran out of sage. So if you remember, I already planted a whole bunch of sage seedlings. I put a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, give that just a little bit of a kick. Oh, I'm just about out of this one. one. I don't even see it coming out. Yeah, there's, there's coming out, but you don't, it's a strong sauce, so yeah. we don't need lots. And I like to also put uh, soy sauce. And if you notice, I'm really not measuring. Uh, you decide, again, for your flavors. Salt and pepper, just pepper. I like pepper. Pepper actually um, uh, helps you absorb your food. It helps 5,000 times the amount that it would normally help to, if you don't have pepper in your food. A little bit of salt. I do have some, um, uh, some more vegetables. This is um, cauliflower. Uh, I will put that in, but not quite yet because it'll just uh, fall apart. I'll put that in with the same time as I put the chicken in. So we're going to now just bring this all to a boil. And we're going to let it stew itself and simmer. Looks good, doesn't it? It's 
It's going to come up to a boil. Once it comes up to a boil, I bring it down and let it simmer. Now we're going to let this simmer for about 10 minutes or so, and then I'm going to add my uh, uh, chicken that I've already cut up from yesterday's uh, chicken dinner. And, and the, the, the uh, soy sauce also gives it a bit of a brown texture or brown coloring which also is a nice bit of look. You want, you want things to look nice when you're eating it. Uh, and when I'm done, when I have everything in, I thicken it with a little bit of cornstarch. So we're just going to let this simmer now. It's on high. As soon as it comes up to a boil, I'm going to bring it down to simmer and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. And then we'll come back and look at as I put the chicken in. Okay, so now we're going to make the rice, which is also very simple. I just have a a pot here. You can have any pot that you normally use. This is a copper bottom. All my pots I buy copper bottom. Usually I go to Belly Village because it's way cheaper than buying it for, for you know for, uh, brand new. So this is two cups of rice. Um, normally um, I would never put that much, but my grandson loves rice, so that stir fry is going to last us for a couple days. So um, so for rice, two cups of rice. I therefore have to put. Four cups of water or four cups of liquid and you can put whatever you want in there whether you want to put um, juice or uh, broth or or half and half it's your choice and then I'll take this to the stove uh, we bring it to a boil and as soon as it's at a boil we bring it right down to as low as it'll go cover it up and um, give it 15 minutes and our rice is ready just starting to boil I usually give it a big couple of turns to make sure that there's nothing um, stuck on the bottom. Let it come back to a boil. If you can see it's starting to boil. I shut it right down to as low as my burner will go and then I put a lid on it. And now I just wait for about approximately about 15 minutes and it's ready. It's not hard to make rice on the stove. Now here is our, our stir fry. I put a lid on it to kind of keep it from, because uh, I've got it on simmer again. I'm just going to get this out of the way. And now I'd like to add, see it is a little bit liquidy, so I don't need to add lots. I'm going to use this cup my kids gave me. I don't need Google. My mother knows everything. Well, not quite everything, but close. <laughs> Jack of all trades. <laughs> Jack of all trades. Master of none. So I've got about a tablespoon of cornstarch. And then I just add some water to make a paste. So there's the paste. And it, it therefore creates a, um, oh, I have to go up a little bit higher. Get it back to a bit of a roll. And then I just put some. It looks like milk. Yeah, it, it changes it to milk? a little bit creamy. I will probably, yeah. Uh, but it's going to um, be quite thick, I think, with all this. Just one tablespoon, one big tablespoon. Yeah, that was a lot. It's a lot of food there, though. That's well. Good thing you made two cups of rice. So that's this. This is supper for the next couple of days, kid. <laughs> or if you freeze it. Well, yeah, you're right. We can freeze it. We can throw it into some containers, and and it's ready to. That's a good idea. Uh, it's ready to eat if uh, you're not home or I'm not home. Just pull it out and just like I did with the chili, I made those couple of containers and uh, it was nice to have it ready. And that's what I do with the uh, soup too. I make chicken soup and um, freeze most of it. Uh, freeze a good a good half, if not three quarters of it. Okay, see how it's just thickened up. It's ready. The stir fry is ready. So all we have to do now is wait for the rice. And then we'll dish out. And I'll show you. I'll show you uh, when I dish out for for my grandson what it looks like because he likes a big full plate, and I won't eat that much. So it's on high right now. I'll let it just go to a slight boil. As soon as I start seeing the bubbling, I'll shut it. Shut it right down to low, as low as it'll go. And then we just wait for the rice. Um, let's take a look at it. You'll see what it looks like. Look at that. Nice. Ready to go. Turn the burner off. Now I'm going to make Alex's plate. He likes a lot of rice. There you know. Yeah. That wasn't lots. It's okay. You can have another. I'll have more after. Okay. What does that look like? Looks pretty good, eh? Mm -hmm. 
Tastes great. Okay. Uh, hi. So that's our supper. It's done. We've eaten it and it was excellent. Uh, thank you for joining me on making chicken stir fry. Uh, you're welcome to come back next time and join me again. You have a good day. Bye-bye.